But former President Donald Trump may ask to have the Georgia election interference case moved to a federal court. If his lawyers filed that motion, he would be the sixth defendant in the racketeering case to make that request. Nicole Killian is following this for us from Washington. You're back from Atlanta, finally, Nicole, back in Washington. So what is the likelihood that the president's case will do what you just did, go from Atlanta to Washington? Well, obviously, different circumstances for both of us. But, uh, you know, look, we have seen, as you noted, other defendants try to move their cases to federal court. Most notably, Mark Meadows uh, was one of the more prominent defendants to do this and actually has already had a hearing on this matter. At this point, we're just waiting for a judge to make a ruling, uh, which could also uh, kind of decide how these other defendants, mm -hmm. including the former president, uh, may proceed in terms of their desires to also move their case to federal court. But really, the rationale here is that, you know, much of what is alleged here took place when uh, they were official office holders. That's certainly uh, the case that Mark Meadows was making, that this was part of his regular duties. Obviously, with the former president being president at the time, uh, that could potentially be ground for him trying to also move his case to federal court. So part of the reason why we have this racketeering case uh, in Georgia is because of the uh, conclusions of a special grand jury. Now, the report from that grand jury is expected to be relate, released later on this morning. What are we looking out for? What are we hoping to see? Yeah, well, keep in mind, this was a special purpose grand jury, and this is separate from the regular grand jury that handed up the indictment against the former president and his 18 co-defendants. So this was more of an investigative body, an investigative jury, if you will, uh, that started investigating uh, back in 2022. They concluded uh, earlier this year, and portions of that report have already been unsealed by the Superior Court judge. Judge Robert McBurney, there has been a media push to release the report in full. And basically what the judge has said uh, in this case is, you know, given the indictment that was handed up, that there really is no need at this point to conceal the report. So what we expect to learn from it is, for instance, how the jury decided, you know, what, who they wanted to indict, how many indictments, because you remember the jury foreperson gave a number of interviews where she said there were multiple indictments. So was it more than the 19 who were recently indicted? That's one thing we were are looking for. And also how they voted, you know, was this a unanimous decision in terms of recommending indictments or was this very closely divided? So uh, those are kind of some of the interesting nuggets uh, that could come out of this report. So before we let you go, as you know, uh, the Fulton County DA, Fonnie Willis, has certainly been the target of a lot of criticism. Um, uh, Representative Jim Jordan sent her a letter, I think, about a, a few weeks ago, basically, I, I believe, suggesting that this is all sort of politically motivated. She has responded. What does she have to say? Well, this was a very sharply worded letter, you know, as I noted uh, in our write-up that was kind of a mic drop, if you will, by the district attorney, Fonnie Willis, because essentially she was telling a judiciary chairman, Jim Jordan, to stay out of her business and to stay out of her investigation and that he really uh, doesn't have any grounds to try to get involved here. Now, in terms of Jim Jordan's inquiry, uh, he basically basically was asking her for information about potential communications with the Department of Justice, executive branch officials, uh, and other folks. And so uh, this was part of her response. There is absolutely no support uh, for Congress uh, to uh, basically get involved here. So uh, this is another tactic that we have seen by the judiciary chairman with other local DAs, most notably the Manhattan DA uh, Alvin Bragg, with his indictment of the former president in a separate case. Uh, so this is likely uh, expected to be a pretty prolonged back and forth between the committee and potentially uh, DA Willis. All right, Nicole, thank you very much.